The Dona Teresa Cristina Railway in the southern Brazilian state of Santa Catarina carries just coal, though not nearly as much as it used to. In its heyday, it ran 38 trains a day. Having a limitless supply of free fuel made it worthwhile to have a large fleet of some of the world's biggest meter-gauge steam locomotives. It was still buying them second-hand as recently as 1978. But in the late 1980s, the market for coal collapsed, and now the railway barely survives. Nowadays, only two diesel trains take coal to local power stations. Only two steam locomotives remain operational. Locomotive 205, built in 1949 by Skoda of Czechoslovakia, once worked in a far more spectacular setting, the Andean foothills of northern Argentina. Some of the ex Teresa Cristina locomotives have been given a new lease of life elsewhere in Brazil, like number 160, now owned by the Paraná Santa Catarina Railway. Brazil's wealthiest state, with 50% of its industry, has not surprisingly the nation's biggest railway system, the Paulista. In late 1994, these powerful electric locomotives, built by General Electric in the 1940s, were still the predominant form of motive power on the system's 5 foot 3 gauge lines. But over the following five years, the decline in traffic made electric operations uneconomic. The 3000 volt DC overhead wires were finally switched off in 1999. The Campinas Jaguar Una Railway runs on Australian renewable energy. It has its own eucalyptus plantation to supply locomotive fuel. This meter gauge line, a former branch of the Paulista, is now operated by the Brazilian Railway Preservation Association.
Estrada do Ferro Campos de Jordão, the last surviving interurban tramway in Latin America, has an interesting collection of tram cars, both old and new. First opened in 1914 and electrified in 1924, the 47-kilometre-long Campos de Jordão line climbs gradients as steep as 11% to reach an altitude of 1,700 metres. Though not high by South American standards, it is the highest point on any railway in Brazil. <laughs> High up in the resort town of Campos de Jordão, more delights await the lover of classic tramway equipment. Sao João del Rey is one of the Cidades Históricas, the historic colonial cities of Minas Gerais. It grew up with the great Brazilian gold boom of the late 18th century, the period when slave labor was digging up half the world's gold in Brazil alone. one of the finest locomotive collections you'll find anywhere on a preserved railway. It all belongs to the Western of Minas Railway, which opened its first line in 1881. By 1912, the western of Minas had a total of 723 kilometers of track, all 76 centimeter gauge. In 1982, severe flooding closed the remaining 202 kilometers still in operation. Luckily, steps had already been taken to preserve the railway's 10 locomotives, the São João del Rey railway station and roundhouse, as well as 12 kilometers of track on which to run tourist trains. Mm -hmm. 